one hour I'm side. the owner. I know, it doesn't matter. For today. Welcome to our live stream concert from Sura, a tiny lighthouse island. And uh, today it's a full storm here, so if you hear some howling, it's just the wind singing along. My name is Julia, uh, this is my little brother Andreas, and this is our good friend Michalis from Greece. Hjertelig velkommen til konsert, live fra Sula. Mitt navn er Andreas, her er søsteren med Julie, og her har vi med oss Michalis Kollevas på Tarhu. Her er det storm i kveld, så vi kunne ikke ha kommet oss bort fra øya om vi hadde villa. Så dere hører kanskje vind under konserten, og det er en veldig stemningsfull kveld. Καλησπέρα και από μένα. Καλώς ήρθατε στη συναυλία μας. Είμαστε ο Ανδρέας στον Παντονεόν, η Ιούλη στο, στην Κέλτικη Άρπα και εγώ θα παίζω τα αρχού σήμερα. Θέλω να στείλω χαιρετισμού σε όλους τους Έλληνες φίλους από όπου και αν μας βλέπετε, από την Ολλανδία μέχρι την Ελλάδα. Θα σας δίνουμε κάποιες πληροφορίε για, για τα κομμάτια, όπως στη συνέχεια του προγράμματος. Ελπίζουμε να το απολαύσετε και θα τα πούμε ξανά σε λίγο. We will start with a piece called Skrog, which uh, is a piece that me and Andreas, we uh, wrote about our grandfather. He grew up on this very island, and uh, sometime in his youth he went on, uh, on a ship that went uh, to all the places in the world. He went to Argentina and Netherlands, and uh, this piece is inspired by his uh, adventures on the big sea. And after that, we'll continue with uh, a dance that Michalis has written. Uh, it's um, inspired from this island, but the rhythm is a traditional Greek rhythm. Thank you. 
Thank you very much. Um, we have now come to the part where we are going to tell you a bit about our instruments. I have brought a Celtic harp to this concert. This is made in uh, Scotland, in a town called Fort Williams, by Starfish Harps. They started out as boat builders, and uh, that might be the reason why they make uh, very beautiful instruments. Um, this is also called a lever harp, which is because of these levers here. They, cha <laughs> they change the note of the string. <laughs> Up and down. So it gives more possibilities for chromatic. Uh, this is made of... Uh, this is uh, gut strings and uh, metal with a bit of silver in them down here. And uh, yes. Um, Michalis, do you want to tell us a bit about your tarhu? So this is the tarhu. It looks like an old instrument. It sounds like an old instrument, but it's quite new. It was invented uh, about 20 years ago from Peter Biffin, uh, an instrument maker from Australia. So the instrument uh, incorporates elements from different existing instruments, like coming from traditions such, uh, such as the classical Ottoman uh, music or instruments that you would find in folk music styles, a bit like what we have in Greece, the lira or kemence. And uh, you see probably a lot of pegs here, and you only see four strings. That's because there are more strings passing through the body. You can't see them. They pass beneath the fingerboard. And when they just keep the resonance to give a natural reverb based on the sound. So when I do that and stop the strings, you still hear the resonance. Uh, well, that's about it. I'm not going to say m m much technical stuff. <laughs> Uh, and the instrument I've uh, brought with me is uh, called uh, Bandoneon, uh, originally uh, created in Germany in the 1850s by a man named Heinrich Band, but uh, uh, it has its tradition in Argentinian tango, and that's what we usually think of when we hear this um, instrument. And uh, what's crazy about the Bandoneon is that uh, the, the logic of the arrangement of the buttons is uh, not there. It's a completely <laughs> illogical system. So if I'll play a C major scale now, I'll do both hands at once or <laughs> after each other. Uh, so it's the white keys of the piano and you'll, you'll see how it looks. Completely different. And so the funny thing is that um, when you turn the bellow, you have uh, two new completely illogical systems to deal with. So uh, it's in total four. So if I play the same scale uh, that I did, I play the exact same buttons but I'll do the bellow the wrong way, we get a new type of scale. <laughs> uh, so we've got three quite unusual instruments. I think I... Uh, I haven't done the research, but I think it's safe to say that we have a unique lineup in the world. <laughs> Um, so the three of us have been out here on Sura now for um, uh, over a month, composing music together, and we have let ourselves uh, inspire from the um, uh, island itself, the nature, uh, the amazing night, and the stories that people tell. Uh, and uh, this next piece uh, is uh, one I composed thinking about how it was a few generations ago, uh, when you needed the, the sea to stay alive, uh, the fishermen would go out uh, in good weather, but also in quite bad weather. 
and the wives and the mothers would stay at home uh, waiting for them. And what we try to capture with this piece is the feeling of not knowing if they come back while still uh, doing the menial chores of the house. And the piece is called Awaiting. (laughs) 
So the next piece is the lighthouse. Um, somehow it has given also the name to this project. I think we all connected to, to the theme. Sule is a small island with a beautiful, beautiful lighthouse. And the first time I came here about one and a half year ago, we were going to the mini market of the, of the island, which is actually the only thing there is <laughs> except for the houses. <laughs> this is an island of about 50 people. And we got connected with the ladies of the island, the old ladies that uh, were knitting and sharing the stories of their families. And somehow these stories were for me, fam I was familiar with the story. There, these are stories that we read, like in Greece we have an author, Karagatsis. I could very much relate the stories of the people here to what I was reading uh, in his books when I was younger. So one day I left from the mini market and then I started with this theme. The, the story of this piece uh, has three parts. So the first part is safe passage. When when the lighthouse is functional, everything is going well, and uh, the boats can safely come back home. The second part is the storm, where things are going bad, there is no light anymore, and we hear all the crashing of the boats and all of the disaster. And the third part is the day after, this, the day of mourning, uh, all the sadness, where the people uh, were lost in the sea. And that's about it. <laughs> it's um, three themes. I think you will recognize the characters. Mm -hmm. So, go on.
Thank you so much. That was the Lonely Lighthouse. Uh, we have come to the last part of this concert. We're going to play one more piece for you. Uh, before that, I want to say thank you so much for joining us. Uh, we will go to the chat afterwards and uh, chat away with you. <laughs> <laughs> um, yes, I want to say, say thank you to uh, Sura Hotel, Hav Hotel, for lending us this uh, beautiful space for this concert. And uh, yes, I'll give the word to Andreas, which is going to present the last piece. Uh, and uh, some of you may have noticed that we are looking this direction sometimes, and that's because <laughs> we, we also have a small live audience. So <laughs> thank you for coming as well. <laughs> uh, the last piece we're going to play is a uh, composition by uh, Michalis. Uh, it's called uh, Aurora Borealis. And uh, he wrote it last year when he was here. And at the time, he hadn't seen the uh, Northern Nights. But during this t this day, we got to experience it, experience it together, and uh, somehow this piece found its place after that. <laughs> Thank you. 